For today's cook, I'll be doing something that I've never seen done before. Yes, I've cooked some incredible burgers in my life, and some are just delicious. Let's be honest, there's nothing better than a good burger. But have you ever heard about a fermented burger? So what exactly is fermentation? Well, it's a metabolic process that produces chemical changes in organic substrates through the action of enzymes. To make it easier to understand, it is a chemical breakdown of a substance by bacteria, and doing the right way makes things taste better. And that is my hope for today's video. Video. We're trying to make an amazing burger taste even better because this is the fermented burger experiment. So let's do it. And everything starts off with ground beef, the good stuff. At least to me, for a burger to be considered a burger, it must use beef, which this one is 20% fat and 80% beef. And since I have a very good amount, I'm going to be splitting everything in thirds. That will allow us to make three different types of burgers. And here's how the first one is going to be fermented. I put the ground beef on a bowl and immediately threw in this special solution. Now this one is madness. And that's because this is fermented milk. You see, as a child, I always had this. If you've never had it, it's kind of sweet. It has a very unique flavor, but what's inside is what really matters. That's because it has a lot of bacteria called lactobacillus. That's what you see right here in the end of the bottle. It's really good for you. You see, I'm hoping that this right here will be the key of fermenting beef safely. But this is a total experiment. I have no idea what's about to happen. So after opening up three bottles, it was ready to mix it with the beef. And here's where things get really tricky. Because once everything was fully mixed, the next step is to take everything to its limit. If I go to Google and type it up, beef danger zone. It says it's between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140. Bacteria grows rapidly in the range of temperatures between 40 degrees Fahrenheit and 140, doubling in numbers in as little as 20 minutes. This range of temperature is often called the danger zone. That is why the meat and poultry hotline advises consumers to never leave food out of the refrigerator for over two hours. So that is the key. We cannot keep it in the danger zone for over two hours. No matter what I do, I will make sure that does not happen. And as you can clearly see, the temperature is under 40 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what we want. But I took it to my oven and I put it in its lowest setting. Once I did that, it allowed me to go as little as 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now remember, the danger zone is between 40 and 140. I threw in my beef and let it warm up for two hours and not a minute more. Once the time was up, I immediately took it out and put it back in the refrigerator. To be specific, into my dry ager. So I repeated every steps for a total of three days. The second one, we're not taking anything to no danger zone. We're going to use something that is already 100% fermented and see if the flavors can combine into the beef. We're talking about kimchi. If you've never heard of it, first of all, you should because it's delicious. Kimchi is a staple food in Korean cuisine. It is a traditional side dish of salted and fermented vegetables. So I'm going to be using the fermentation of this to transfer it into the beef. To do that, it's pretty simple. I just mixed everything together with the beef as much as possible. As you can see, once I was done, it was perfectly mixed. Then I covered the whole thing with clinch plastic and into the refrigerator you went for three three days. That is all there is to it. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a look. It was very surprising to me that I had no oxidation. But one of the most interesting thing for me was the texture. It felt like rubber. And since I love kimchi so much, I'm wondering how this is gonna taste. But I only wanted to use the fermentation. So I took the time to make sure I remove every single vegetable out of it. Once I was done, take a look at what I was left with. Perfectly fermented beef with kimchi. The next thing to do was to go ahead and make some balls. I made sure to wait every Every single one of them. I was looking for three ounces each ball. That will be perfect to make the perfect smash burger, which is exactly what I'm gonna do with this. Once I was done with all of my balls, take a look. Now they are ready to be cooked. But remember, we don't only have this one. We have the lactose fermented one. And after three days, take a look. It's still red. And as I open it up, oof, cover back up, cover back up. You know when you have expired milk into your refrigerator? It's similar to that, but it also smells very sweet. And as I mix everything around, take a look. There is very little oxidation. I expected this to be completely gray, but to my surprise, some way, somehow, it got preserved. The next thing to do was to go ahead and make some balls and find out how it was gonna taste. I did the same exact thing as I did with the kimchi one. As you can see, once I was done, this is what they look like. And here we have all of them. But don't forget, we still need a sauce. So I made a really quick one. I combined a little bit of mayo, followed by ketchup, a little bit of mustard, and to keep it with the fermented theme, I threw in some sriracha sauce. This hot sauce is fantastic, and I highly recommend because once I was done mixing, my sauce was done. That is 
is as easy as it gets. Now for the bun, I'm going to be using Google's buns. I have the full recipe link on the description down below. And for the cheese, I'm going to be using the good old American cheese. As now I have all of my beef ready to go, I cannot wait to find out how a fermented burger is going to taste. So now I say, it is enough talking and it is time to cook some fermented burgers. So let's do it. Alright everybody, here we have a spread of burgers. I have to be honest, I've never cooked so many. Leo, you look excited. <laughs> burger video, burger video. It's what? a mother <laughs> B-U-R-G-E-R, burger video. Hold up. <laughs> Woo! Hold up. I, he's really excited. But uh, before we continue, I want to give a quick disclaimer. This is one of the only experiments I do not want you to try it at home. I don't know what's about to happen. Things could get a little bit... <laughs> Uh, sorry, Leo, to disappoint Very you. Good video. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, one more time, do not try this experiment at home. I really want to see if there's something to continue doing it, something to explore. There is a little bit of unknown territory. That's what I will say with this type of burgers, Leo. Yeah, it's a little freaky. I came to eat some burgers and it feels like I might turn into a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle after eating this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go for the very first one. Let me know. Smell it first, always. Smells like a burger. It smells normal. It sm it's not. It's not one that's gonna make me grow wings or something, right? <laughs> I hope not. Well, we're gonna find out right <laughs> Jesus now. Jesus Christ! Give me your honest opinion on this one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers guys. Delicious. That's a good burger. <laughs> but you did something to my sauce. I did something to yourself, pussy racha. <laughs> Leave my sauce alone. <laughs> I don't think I did this burger justice by saying it's a good burger. This is a damn good burger. <laughs> oh my this god. This really tasty. Beefy, cheesy. The bread blends perfectly. And now that you say the sriracha, I do get a little heat on that sauce. Not too much, but a little bit. I agree 100%. This is the perfect burger. This is our control. All right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to see if we go up from here or down. Let's go for the second one. Smell it first. Let me know if you smell anything different. Oh, it smells different. It but does not smell too much. Okay, enough because I'm excited. Give me 100% honest opinion. Sounds like a plan? All right, enough talking. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. Oh, I like that. God damn, it tastes good. <laughs> yeah, it does taste good. There's an element of sweetness that's like, kind of like tingling my tongue. I'm gonna vibe, you know? Just sit back, let you guys be the guinea pigs. This is really good. <laughs> this is really, really good. It's like... Stop saying that, Leo. I don't want them to try I'm it. Okay, it's, uh, it's terrible. Don't do this at all. <laughs> I had never had a burger like this. It tastes a little funky. It tastes yeah. a little fruity. Yes, it tastes I a got little, that. Yeah, it tastes a little yeah. sweet and sour. I gotta say, everybody, this wow. is a huge success. It tastes almost like it's marinated in like blueberries or some kind of fruit. Like what you said, fruity is perfect. It's like so weird that it actually works well on a burger. You wouldn't expect sweetness on a what burger to be it, good. Just tell me. This is a fermented burger. Fermented? Fermented Fermented how? burger. It's it, fermented with what? Yeah. How? I don't want to know what it's fermented with, Angel. I'm good. Okay. That was very interesting. I never had any burger like that. That's crazy. Let's go for the last one because I'm super excited. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Take a tiny bite. Take a tiny bite. Take a tiny bite. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Take a tiny bite. Oh, I like that. This one is better than this one. A hundred percent agree. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> I can see this being like someone's favorite burger. Wow, it's just so not mine. good. It's my favorite burger right now. 
Really it so is far? so good. Yeah, I'm telling you right now. I'll tell you what I did. This one is with kimchi. And kimchi. he hates kimchi. <laughs> is that payback for the, the Reaper? The Carolina no, Reaper? No, no, no. That one is coming. Oh, it's you coming. mother... <laughs> <laughs> no cursing allowed. So my thought on this one is that it did get fermented. It tastes a little bit sourness. Obviously, the kimchi penetrated also in the meat as well. It gave more flavor. Remember, I did not season this one with extra salt because kimchi already has salt. So when I was cooking it, there's no salt involved. As a burger, the things that you would want you could check them all off. It was juicy. It had a good bite to it. It was still very tender. All of these things, the cheese was very creamy and stuff. You know, like, it's nice. This is insane to think that kimchi on a burger works so well. But let me tell you guys, it works amazingly well. This is ridiculously good. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.